If you're watching this, I'm dead.
You'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Here's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? And it doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? I'm at Gotham U. What's the story so far with this professor? Kirk Langstrom. The half-finished file was attached to Batman's code black. There's something big there. Eyes open and ready for anything, then.
Positive ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Bad news. Langstrom is dead. Any idea where I can find his office? I remember reading that Langstrom's office is in Molten Hall on the third floor. Thank you. The balcony doors are open. That's my way in. Here we go. so far I feel like this might turn into something you'd like it I'm breaking into a lab I always did love a good break-in even that night you accidentally tripped the alarm excuse me that was you I'll see if there's anything else to this lead stay safe you too Langstrom died. You'd think the GCPD would still be all. Looks like Langstrom was attacked at his workstation. He lost a lot of blood. He tried to get away, and then the attacker pinned him to the wall. Brutal. Langstrom spent his final moments crawling toward that cabinet. Why didn't he try to leave the lab? Crap, it's a hidden door. What were you hiding, Dr. Langstrom? A phone number. It's not a Gotham area code. Could be something. The thermostat could definitely double as a keypad. Langstrom's tablet might be remote access to the door. I've never seen a microwave like this before. Maybe it's for more than just late night burritos. That did it. Let's find out what secrets this guy was keeping. Well, 
Well, this is something. That man's dead professor was researching some real sketchy stuff. Langstrom's desk. What's this? That's a hard drive. Might have some answers. Better get this back to the Belfry. Hey, I think I'm done here. Cops cleared out quick. Missed some weird marks on the walls, and a hidden lab, with an even more hidden hard drive. Sounds good. See you back here soon. Fire alarm? Did someone see me? them a lesson. Come on. Please, with all the... <laughs> Gotta stop these freaks from burning this place to the ground. Right. 
definitely hurt you more than hurt me. going on tonight. I'm gonna head back now with Langstrom's hard drive. Finally.
Nice work grabbing that drive from Langstrom's lab. Do we have any idea of what killed Langstrom yet? Hard to say much until these computers are up and running. Or we can examine the body, but for what it's worth... Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for... whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. Stop it! He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it! We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. 